What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? My name is David, also known as StoneMount64, here on my channel, and I'm actually joined by my girlfriend today. Hi, my name is Erica. Yeah, guys, so uh, thought I would do a question and answer video because she's always around when I'm making my videos, and you know, wanted to try to incorporate her into the channel a little bit, see how it went. I always enjoyed watching other people's uh, commentaries that they do with their girlfriend, and I know that. A lot of other people are always interested as well, and you seemed interested in doing it when I asked you about it, right? Yeah, it sounded like it'd be fun. And, I mean, we've talked about it for a couple months and never actually sat down and did it, so, hell, we're going to try it out. So I asked on Facebook and Twitter for some guys' questions, and uh, so we're going to answer some of those. And I was reading some of them, and I didn't want to answer all of them, but I think... <laughs> Uh, she wanted me to bring some of them up, so uh, I think these are some of them are pretty interesting. So first, we'll uh, let's see what we got. First one is from Nick Meister. He said, "What are your plans after graduation?" And uh, so that's kind of to both of us. I asked, you know, it could be for either of us, but I guess I'll start with myself. You guys already know going to Cal State Fullerton. She is as well, but I'm studying economics. I'm going to be graduating next semester. I would really like to work in finance, work in investing. And I think I've touched on that before on my channel, but that's kind of where I'm thinking of going. You know, I also have this YouTube thing that I do as a hobby, but this isn't, you know, my main career. My main type of thing is more in finance, investing, uh, more in that sort of field. But uh, yeah. As for me, I'm going to school to be an English teacher. Yeah. <laughs> and then what do you want to do with that though teach oh, there you go yeah <laughs> did you say that as an english teacher oh, okay it's well okay. uh <laughs> yeah she's a year ahead of me and um but still taking classes and then going to do your credential to right. be a teacher so that's what she's working on so she saw us another year i'm kind of going to be finishing up this next semester though and uh yeah so the next question by jesus carranza um if you could live anywhere in the world, where would it be? Mm. You, you go first. I don't know. I need, I need time to think about that one. Okay. Do well, you know? um, I've never, I like, if I was going to be really adventurous, I would want to travel around. If I wouldn't want to just yeah. live in one place, if I was really going to move somewhere else, I've always been in Southern California. Um, and that's where I would really like to stay. So if I could live anywhere, I mean, it's really expensive to live here, but this is where I would <laughs> like to live. If I wanted to live anywhere, I would want to travel and live in a different country all the time. But then, you know, you're far away from your family and everything. So there's trade-offs with everything. But I think if I would be adventurous, live in one place, mm, maybe like Ireland. Ooh, I was going to say like Australia. Oh, Australia would be cool. Like Australia. Yeah, that's a totally different world. I was actually just gaming with somebody from Australia the other day. And uh, it's their um, summer right now. Which I thought was really weird. I, I mean, I always thought about that, but I never talked to somebody from Australia. So anyways, that was really interesting. Let's move on to the next <laughs> question, though. Um, Tuli Ryan, uh, did you ever think about quitting YouTube? So this one's more for me. Did you ever think about quitting YouTube? <laughs> I never no. started, so no. Okay, so uh, no, I, I've never thought about quitting it, but I've thought about slowing down before. There's been certain points in my channel where I've got a big boost and then I've kind of slowed down, you know, from... I was getting like 70 likes and then I started going down to 50 likes or 30 likes in my videos and then I kind of got discouraged and I would kind of slow down uploading but I never thought about quitting it's something that I've always wanted to do or you know I've maintained doing because I'm still getting comments I'm still getting feedback the only way I would ever quit is if I really stopped getting the feedback and uh, you know people stopped watching my videos <laughs> that's that's kind of my, my drive for uh, doing it. Next question by William America. I think that's what it is. I can't read it. It goes dot, dot, dot. But he said, um, if you could describe <laughs> her and him with one word, what would it be? Get your word? Uh, I was See, this is one that I was thinking about before. I don't know how to just put it in. <laughs> put would, her in one word. I would probably call you eccentric. Mm, okay. I, would, I, I think I would call you diverse. Because it's well, it's kind of like eccentric. Well, kind of. I don't know. But why eccentric? Because I never know what's gonna come out of you. <laughs> that's that's the same reason for diverse. I never know what's gonna happen with you. Every day you come over, it's like a mystery. Well, okay, I think that. Well, okay, that's pretty good. I thought that was a good answer. Uh, he also asked, "How long have you been together?" So th we've been together for 
um, almost three years now. Two three months. It'll be three long years. years. Yeah. So I've been doing I've been <laughs> doing YouTube good. for about two years, and so we were dating for about a year, over a year before I started doing YouTube. So yeah, we're coming on three years strong. Woo. Pretty good. Um, <laughs> and then actually that ties into the next question. Bcast asks, uh, how does YouTube affect your relationship? Dun dun dun. Yeah. <laughs> Had this is this is more for you. I mean, we were doing so we were. Man, it's it's okay. So you go first on this. What do you think? Um, I think the biggest way it affects it is time management. Yeah. Like, I mean, before you did your YouTube, we didn't have like to set time apart from it. Well, also like before we were, before I was doing YouTube, you were my neighbor because we met in college. So, mm-hmm. I mean, we were pretty much right next door to each other uh right. in, in our dorm type living apartment situation so it was a lot easier we didn't really have to schedule things now we're living farther apart and now i'm doing youtube a whole lot so that takes a lot of time so i thought this was also you know another way that <laughs> i could possibly incorporate her into the channel because i'll spend time on you or you know working on videos putting annotations up whatever you know editing videos while she's over doing homework or studying things during the school year mm-hmm but um you know and then i'll do that as well but yeah it's definitely i mean it's it's definitely a time management thing right because this takes so much time yeah so i mean that's that's the only way a lot of people that are watching you guys might not think that it really takes a lot of time but editing the video (laughs) it totally does yeah it takes a lot of time that you i mean it it is it might just be a couple minute video but you have to even just a commentary you have to prepare the comments or i mean uh, what you're going to be talking about in the video things like that so it it's a it's a bit of a time commitment, especially my YOLO series and all that stuff that I do. It takes a lot of lobbies to go into, so I have to be like, okay, for the next couple hours or five hours, I need you to go to the gym or go uh, go <laughs> study somewhere else or something for a couple hours or you know whatever if she's not here for a day. But since I upload you know a couple videos a week, then it becomes kind of more of a time commitment. Anyways, let's go on to the next one. <laughs> um, Chewy uh, Chewy Gum asks. Does she watch YouTube videos? If she does, what's her favorite YouTuber? Um, I do watch YouTube videos, but I watch more like makeup and like girly channels. But I mean, if I had to pick a favorite, I don't know, like Megan Rosette. I don't know if you guys will know. Oh, I'm sure they all follow her. Everybody, right? Makeup tips. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Were you watching a lot of YouTube before? Uh, I started kind of uploading a lot. Yeah. Um, I mean, I've been watching YouTube for a couple of years. Actually, before I even met you, I started watching YouTube videos probably like a year before I even met you. And so, mm-hmm. um, but like I said, they're all like girl <laughs> channels. Yeah, yeah. But she's big into Pinterest. That's her favorite. Yeah, I like Pinterest. I like, um, but she's crafty, man. Crafty. She made some uh, crafts today, which were pretty sick. <laughs> but... Um, all right, next question. Zane, uh, I'm not, I don't know how to say the rest of it. Okay, so Zane asks, what is your most memorable gaming experience that's not an FPS? This is actually another question somebody asked me as well, which was uh, pretty much my favorite gaming experience. And that actually isn't an FPS. That's from Kingdom Hearts back on the PlayStation. And I would talk about that more, but that's, uh, you know, that's, for a different commentary, I think. What do you have? What's your favorite gaming experience? You big gamer. I like Monopoly. Okay, there you go. That's um, not quite a video game, but. It's okay. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna go to uh, to some Facebook questions. We're at about ten minutes in, so we'll try and do these lightning round. Um, Tom Gummings asked for both. Oh gosh, why did I get to this oh. one? I should have ended it. <laughs> this is the one. okay. So for both, <laughs> memory tester. What what was y'all's first date? Where was y'all's? Where uh, Where was it? Oh, where was it? Yeah. Okay. Where what? Anyways. He still doesn't know. You wanna you wanna like, guess? See he's saying that. Can you remember? He's saying that because he does not remember. <laughs> okay. Um <sighs> little known fact, his memory is absolutely terrible. It's not te- it's not that terrible. I mean I do really good on tests and stuff, but when it comes to real life stuff, when it comes to our stuff, memories, I kind of forget some stuff. It's hard for me to keep things in chronological 
chronological order. That's my hardest thing. I've always had trouble with that, even on tests and things. It's our first date. Yeah, but, oh, God, you're making me like a villain here. This is why I wanted to end it. Anyways, um, so no. it was it was at Yogurt Land. Okay. You asked me to go to Yogurt Land. Okay, okay. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, yeah. I remember that. Obviously, it was a very special moment for oh my him. Gosh. It was okay. Okay, hold on. in my defense here. In my defense, just today, what did you forget? Your birthday. Yeah, you forgot the date of my birthday because I said it was my lucky number, same as my birthday, and she's like, "What's that again?" Okay, keep in mind. Okay, it's not at the same level. It's not. The no, same keep level. in mind, he forgets like everything. This is like the one thing I forgot in like okay. three years. Okay. okay. Moving on. Yeah, let's move on to the next question here. Um, what is the most annoying thing about each other? Okay, good job, Daniel or Orozco. Gonna get us some hot water. Yeah, thanks. You can answer that one first. I guess that... <laughs> Fuck's ticking. <laughs> I don't know. There's not There's not really anything annoying. Mm -hmm. What is something that I complain about? I, I guess uh, that... I mean, I guess this is both on our part, but that you're indecisive. Like, I'll say you want to go eat something... Uh, or eat somewhere. And then also, she doesn't really like to um, go out to movies or go out to eat at places. So I guess that's kind of a, annoying. I like to eat places. I just don't like to eat the places you suggest. <laughs> you just don't like to eat with me? Okay. I see how it is. And I think movies are kind of boring. Okay. Well. But I get your annoying thing was earlier today, how you like try to make wraps. Okay. Oh my gosh, that was driving me bananas. No, that was fine. I was I was uh, freestyling while I was playing. I was playing was some games. Terrible and freestyling. I was freestyling. And you kept going. They were they were all compliments to you. It wasn't like you know, wasn't some hood rat stuff. <laughs> Anyways, um, Dan. Okay, we got Dan. Matt says, uh, Matt Orth. What's your favorite games? Okay, I kind of already addressed that. Kingdom Heart was my favorite game of all time, in sort of sense. And uh, I guess hers was Monopoly. Is that your favorite? What was your favorite game? Of all games. Have you ever played any video games? Like Mario Kart. There you go. Back in the day. That was probably my favorite. That was my first game that I ever played. Back on the N64, baby. All right. Does your girlfriend watch your videos? So that's kind of a spinoff. I do sometimes I'll randomly go and like check out his videos see what he's uploaded but usually I don't know what's going on in the videos yeah that's kind of but. the thing like if she watched my YOLO on the battlefield or and we're alive she has no idea what's happening the, the ones where you record in like other people you're playing with yeah and they're like laughing and stuff and they're making comments yeah that's funny and oh you like those yeah oh, okay. I don't really know what's going on but like yeah I guess more like my comp, my tip videos if I talk about the game at all then it flies over your head oh yeah but the one where people are reacting that's really funny because sometimes they react and did I like you the, see my and my YOLO on the battlefield the 10th episode that got like all the views bunch of, yeah I did the one that was on did you watch the whole thing or just bits um, of it probably bits because I really don't know what's yeah, going on okay. but I like the ones too where you do it and you're like, you're visually in it you know, mm -hmm. I like those too because I can see your face. Okay, it's fun to watch. thanks. And then the last <laughs> question, uh, Toby Pippin asked, "Where did you guys first meet?" Oh, okay, how did you meet? So that was we met back in our first year of college, and um, it was then your about, first year. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was my first year. It was She's, my second year. Mm -hmm. Um, and we were neighbors, yep. literally right next door to each other. Yep. We lived in um, student housing. Yeah. And uh, then we started dating in the second semester, so a couple months after we met. But uh, yeah, guys, that wraps it up. Hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to let us know in the uh, comments. Leave a like if you did enjoy it. You can check out my previous View from the Mountain. I guess we should call this something different, not a View from the Mountain. Anyways, I'll deal with that later. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, be sure to drop a like, and I'll see you guys next time. This is Stone Mountain 64 signing out. Later, guys. Bye.